This is the story. No, 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 I don't know that song, but I'm gonna say it anyway. No, no, my name Panic. What's up, my quesadillas? I hope you enjoyed this video. It's like 5 p.m. right now, but everyone's doing their activities. You might hear some background noise. This is a story of Kay at around his 20th birthday in the winter of 2019. It was a Shibuya evening and I was with my friend Alan and we were just walking and talking. We wandered inside of a smoke shop. Marijuana is illegal in Japan, but it presented itself as a 420 shop. We look around just killing time on one of our many nights out. We spend about 10 minutes inside and then leave where I see three policemen pulling up on my right. They call to us from down the block, which was good for me because I was able to get ready. You see, I wasn't good at staying away from drugs at the time, so I had that thing on me. That time is a time I look back on and get scared. The way I was treating myself, the way I was treating others, I was everything my mama worried me not to be. I'm sorry to those I crossed paths with during that time. That is not the K I stand for. So I had that thing on me. Alan knows this, and so we have a little moment of eye contact where I gave him the nod and booked it left. By that time, the blue men group were circling around us, enough for one of them to grab my arm, but I was too fast and was able to make a break down the road. I'm running full speed, gas pedal all the way, I hit the nitro button, turbo boost. Everyone's watching a hood Olympian just bolting down the street with law enforcement chasing after him. It's crazy. You don't get to see a police chase happen like this too often, especially when the culprit's too pretty to go to jail. I ran down the road by a good ramen shop, across the street and down a path away from all the traffic. I take a right around a building and as I'm sprinting, I pull the thing out of my jacket and throw it in a bush. I run a bit longer and turn around to see the son of a gun still on my tail. I finally stopped and let them catch up to me and they asked me, what did you done? I said, sir, I'm from America. When we see the popo, we die. And they said, bullshit, what you got on you? Open your pockets. I was taken to the side and more ops pull up giving me an intense interrogation and thorough pat down. They took my phone and wallet, put it in a black bag out of reach. They searched everywhere. They went in my pants. My drawers turned into a party real quick. They even get to invite the ladies. After 20 minutes, a cop car pulls up and the head chieftain comes out. He walks up, looks deep into my eyes, and asks me, Do you have drugs? I looked back into his suspicious gaze and said, No. But I wish. They kept searching me and asking me why did I run, to which I kept responding with the same answer. I'm from America. They were unable to penetrate my defenses and accepted defeat. They let me go and I told them to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I called my friend Sora and he was freaking out. He had just talked to Alan. The cops let him go and he went straight home. He thought I was a goner. As my heart began to settle, I called my ex at the time, who was worried sick about me. Then I went into an internet cafe and continued making this video. After the seventh day of the video, I went back to the bush, I threw the thing in, found it after five minutes of searching in the sunshine, and went home feeling good. Thank you for watching my quesadillas. Oh, I felt good to let that one go. I'm kind of going through a phase right now where I don't care. I was always a quality over quantity type of guy, but even with that mindset, the quality still shit. So I'm just gonna post whatever's in my mind. I'm just banging it out. Yeah, thank you. Fuck it. I don't give a fuck no more. Fuck it. <laughs> Anyway, see you in the next one. I'm from America.